Hi everyone, this is Paul from Sketchfab and today I'm really excited to share a brand new 3D rendering feature that's available to our entire community and that is ground shadows. Uh, you can see this fantastic model of a shoe and here is a shadow that is automatically generated. So uh, a lot of our community have already been really ingenious and created shadows of their own using a kind of a ground plane and perhaps adding a baked texture of some kind. But the great thing about ground shadows is it can be added automatically to any model. So if I go ahead and turn that off, you'll notice this is the original model and go ahead and turn it on and it's really that simple. Um, here we are, so in the editor under the lighting tab, this particular model is a PBR model and it's lit in this case by our industrial room environment. And as I move the uh, environment around, uh, you can see that the shadow moves with it. So um, that's one uh, way that you can adjust the shadow. And of course, uh, here under a shadow catcher, you have some options. And, and the most obvious one, of course, being opacity here. You've got border fade to soften that shadow down so we can have a very dramatic uh, dark shadow there with nice crisp edges or we can uh, adjust the opacity and add a little bit of fade in there just to soften that up. Or we have some other options available to you as well. So if we go here to another example, here's some great stylized cartoon characters. In this uh, particular case, our, our artist has chosen to use our shadeless option to give it this very kind of stylized look, but we still have the option to add some shadows. Uh, because this is shadeless, we no longer have the real-time option, but we do have a baked AO or baked ambient occlusion option available to you. Um, so again, you've got some options here. You can adjust the opacity here. And shadow diffusion, if we uh, take that all the way down to the bottom here, this will make a, a less diffuse or sharper shadow. And you can see here, just under the uh, characters and here on the left-hand side, because we're baking a texture, this does take a couple of seconds just to resolve. But there we go, there's our ambient occlusion shadow. If we want something that's a little bit more diffuse, we can go ahead and add some more diffusion in there. Because we've made some changes, it is gonna re-render that and it does just take a couple of seconds. But now we've got a nice uh, softer shadow available to us. And again, that would have been ex available to us here uh, with our shoe model as well here as well. So if we go here and add baked AO, you can see there automatically you see that change. Shadow catcher is the real time and baked AO is the, uh, is the baked texture. Finally, uh, you'll see one of the reasons that we have some different options here is different shadows support different kinds of models. So in this particular case, obviously this guy is animated and lit by these lights. And so the real time shadow capture is the most appropriate shadow to use. And the baked AO is uh, uh, um, grayed out for us because that would cause a static shadow, whereas we have a moving model. And you can see fantastic uh, shadows here created not just off the one light, but off both lights here in the scene. So a couple of other options just to show you here. Uh, one is uh, if we move that to a very grazing angle there, the light here, you can see that there are some cases where the shadow might get cut off, uh, but that's easily resolved. We have a size feature here and you can see you can adjust that uh, to uh, give yourself a larger plane, a larger sh uh, catcher essentially for the shadow. And in these cases, even if it does get cut off there, it gets to the maximum size, you can introduce a little bit of border fade there just so it f kind of fades out into the distance there very naturally. And if you haven't noticed already, uh, one of the other things that's happening in this model, of course, is we have our guy floating above the ground and that is thanks to our height feature. So if we move that to sort of its default setting, something like that, you know, the guy is sitting right on top of the shadow, which is not appropriate for this model. So by introducing some height, we can kind of lower that down. And now this guy is, is sort of floating in space, but has a sense of sort of context because he's floating above the ground here. And again, we could do that with our shoe, for example. So even though we're in ambient occlusion uh, shadow mode here, we still have the ability to adjust the height. Let's move that down. Again, because we've changed it relative to the scene, it does take a moment just to kind of resolve that. This would give us a bit more of a kind of a stylized look, perhaps, uh, you know, for retail, we want to show off this shoe kind of stylistically kind of floating just above uh, the ground level there. And again, we could take that diffusion down a little bit just to make it a little sharper, give it a couple of seconds to resolve. 
and you've got the shadow. So there you are, our brand new shadow feature. It's available for all models, for all members of our community. Uh, we've really enjoyed working on this and uh, we can't wait to see what you're going to do with it. Uh, so um, we'll see you soon with some new features in the near future.